Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, the skies are starting to clear a little bit as Hurricane Darby uh, brushed us to the south yesterday and dumped tons of water on us, which was good. It's been a little dry. Filled up the water tank out there. Put in thousands of gallons of water. That thing's just overflowing now. Everything's in good shape water-wise, so that was uh, a good thing. Didn't take a strong hit from the hurricane, but got some much-needed water. So in today's video, I wanted to revisit this Red Odo 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, if you caught my earlier videos going back a couple of weeks ago, uh, I was running this through a lot of different charging tests and discharging tests. And I ran across uh, in two consecutive days a voltage spike. Uh, one of them was a 16.02 volt and the next day was a 16.03 volt spike. And we discussed that here on the channel. I got a lot of really good recommendations from everybody. And as a lot of us know, uh, depending on what charge controller or inverter you're using, and we're all using different makes and models, uh, that plays a, a role in some of this. And then, of course, the BMS in here, uh, which protects the battery, is also another vital role. So in trying to figure out exactly what was going on, I relied on uh, a lot of you guys who I trust that give me really good feedback and information on these batteries. And I had this battery set on the uh, Victron charge controller that I'm using, which I will show you. But anyway, there's the app. And I'm on this particular charging station using that MPPT 75 volt 15 amp controller. And it just goes to uh, this one battery. So, as a lot of you recommended, some of you said just drop it down to 14.0 volts for charging. I was using the preset uh, lithium iron phosphate preset on the Victron app, which takes it to 14.2 and a float of 13.5. And it was on that setting that I did get a couple of voltage spikes. So what I've done since then, and I'll show you what the log looks like, I went ahead and took the recommendation of, of you guys, and I dropped the, my charging parameters now in the advanced settings on the Victron app. And I've set it myself to 13.8 uh, for one hour, and then a float of 13.5. and that has worked absolutely perfectly for me and I have not registered an, a single spike since then and I'll show you a little closer view of that log here. And right now after using this battery in a typical discharging session uh, this morning it's sitting at 89.8 percent full with 49 47 40 yeah you can see the watts changing up there what's coming in off the uh, 200 watt array that I'm using for this charging station and then here's a look at the log uh, so here it is uh, two weeks ago these these small little uh, graph pictures here uh, there was the first time I got a 16 volt spike and there I got a 16 volt spike and then I started talking to you guys about all of this and changed the parameters in the advanced settings instead of just going with the preset lithium settings like I said I went to 13.8 and a in a 13.5 and I continued to cycle this in the past two weeks, uh, pulling anywhere from about 200 and, uh, 
20 watt hours to 440 watt hours and everything in between 320 to 60 420 320 and down the line for the past couple of weeks and you can see that since i changed those parameters uh starting right there just two days into recording consecutive spikes uh, i have not registered an, a single spike since then uh, with my 13.8 top end, uh, the first day was 13.7, then, then it started 13.82, uh, 13.83, 13.8 all the way across, just all the way across every single day. Take it up to 13.8, holds it there for an hour, gets it through the absorption stage after an hour, and then clicks into float, which is the float is registered here on these top a uh, little bit darker blue shading the lighter blue is the absorption stage and then the white is is the bulk stage so you can see that since i made the the change uh it has been working absolutely perfectly i'm getting up to 100 percent full uh, every single day i'm i'm cycling this battery every single day putting a good charge on it uh, up to about 700 watts uh, on a discharge in my daily usage for various things. Back in here, coffee maker, um, some small tools and everything else back in the shop. Haven't really pulled more than about 700 watts off of this battery at any given time, but uh, throughout the past two weeks I have been cycling it pretty decently. And then here's today. Yesterday, and one of the things on this app, you can click on here, just touch the day you want to see, and it'll give you a graph of like it took six hours and 35 minutes this day to get it up to bulk, finish the bulk, went into absorption, that thinner blue line, for an hour, and then it floated the rest of the day at for about five hours. So you can, that's a good way to see like what you're doing, but you can just see all the way across for the past two weeks with those new parameters. Not one single voltage spike. The battery's getting completely full. There's nothing really to be gained. As many of you have pointed out to me, there's nothing to be gained really after 13.8. So 13.8 and 13.5 on this particular setup is working well. And if you followed my uh, earlier videos, much earlier videos, you know that in my uh, main house bank, uh, I've had to adjust those charging parameters back there on the Chins batteries. Many times I started getting uh, voltage spike alarms uh, due to the conditions I'm working under, and you can go back and look at some of those if you're interested what I did with uh, setting that to work for me. So just having to make a little adjustment to make this one work perfectly. Um, every day, now today it's so far the max it's seen is a 13.38. It's still trying to charge. Pretty cloudy as this hurricane gets out of our neighborhood. Uh, but all the way across for two solid weeks now, two solid weeks, just exactly like I've got it set. 13.81, 13.81, 13.81. It just, it never did spike, but it did on the 14.2. And as I mentioned in the video where I caught the spike in real time, uh, I just happened to be looking at the app and trying to catch it on that second day. And I was able to catch it. And it was my impression that it did uh, just spike right at the moment it was, uh, moving from absorption stage to float stage. Uh, that's what it seemed like. I never did get an alarm on any of my equipment. And had it not been for uh, the Victron app and the Victron controller, I believe, uh, I would have never known about that spike. There was nothing, uh, it did nothing to the system. Everything worked fine. And like I said, if I wouldn't have been running this particular charge controller, I don't know if I would have ever seen uh, those two days of spikes. So anyway, uh, Red Odo, who had sent me this battery out to test and review, they watched the video 
uh, the, the, both videos on the spikes and they responded to me and I wanted to uh, read to you what the manufacturer's response was. And uh, they said, hello, they just have seen the video and they consulted, I, I, I was talking to a, uh, uh, a marketing person and they said that they saw the video and they consulted their technical engineers about the instantaneous voltage spike to 16 volts that I observed and they said it was normal. And here are the details. After the battery is fully charged, the BMS will automatically cut off in order to protect the battery from overcharging. And at the moment of cutting off, an error occurred while the instrument was sampling data. That's why the voltage spike data appears. Normally, a voltage between 14.2 volt and 15 volt at the moment of cutoff is normal. Our technical engineer said that you can use the battery normally with confidence. We have done many battery tests before and they have seen this happen, but it is normal. And then they finish off by saying, if you have any questions when to use uh, the battery, please feel free to contact them or contact their service team and they will always, always answer your questions. So that goes in line with with what I was experiencing and watching in the best way that I could come up to describe what had happened. And I guess my question now is, is this happening with with other uh, BMSs across, uh, you know, across the spectrum of everything that's out there? And, and just depending on what instrument we have monitoring, um, would we just stay unaware of it. Uh, I have not seen it on the EP ever charge controllers. I've been in, in the back watching. I would only know when I'd get a voltage spike back there by a, an alarm going off and bringing that to my attention. So that sounds very plausible to me that it was just uh, sending out, what were the exact words, some sampling data the BMS is just sending out like a little signal. This is my uh, uh, language for it because I'm, I'm not so well versed in a lot of the things that the BMS does, but uh, that right at the moment of cutting off, an error occurred while the instrument was sampling data. So right, right at the, the transfer from uh, finishing off absorption to float, that makes sense to me that that's what the BMS does and and that might be doing that on all my batteries I don't know or I don't know if that's just a a new function with a new BMS these are the things I don't know about I know a lot of you will know a lot more about that and I can't wait to hear what you think so anyway I appreciated uh, the manufacturers response that makes sense to me uh, I, I take them at their word that it's a, a normal function of this battery uh, that's coming from their technical engineers and I, I know they know a lot more than I do and I know a lot of you do too so uh, I thought this was very interesting to know and like I said had I not seen it in the log uh, on the uh, Victron controller I would have certainly never known, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave uh, my parameters as they are now. I'm liking that 13.8 for my bulk and, and absorption and set it for an hour and then I kick it down to 13.5. And and I'm, I'm working this thing out every single day as you could see from that log. I am not being shy about using this. Everything's working absolutely fine. I have full confidence in it. Just learning as I go. <laughs> All right, you guys. Hope everything's treating you well in the solar world, and I'll catch you on the next one. Aloha.